Welcome to part three. Now, obviously, Jubilee, the Jubilee government has been very busy doing things against the NASA side of um, the political divide. Okay, really, uh, when we when we come and break it, when we have broken it down in the way we have here, it is very clear. Okay. Now, one of the things that has been done is uh, Raila Odinga's uh, security has been withdrawn, okay, by the government, yeah? Now, one, of the th one thing we should have, uh, should be very clear on our minds is that that security is not at the pleasure of the president of the day. It is not, okay? It, uh, it is a constitutional right of Raila Odinga, okay? So what the government is actually doing is withdrawing the, the you know a right a constitutional right of Raila Odinga. Now, if that is not provocation, I have no idea what provocation is. Okay, and of course the the, the excuse is even more ridiculous because you know this is a comp uh, what is happening between NASA and Jubilee is a political contest, and then Matiangi goes and says you can see it on your screen where do you assign your contingent of more than twenty armed police? officers so that you can use them to intimidate the same government that has deployed them to you <laughs> i'm telling you this is this is comedy and the provocation does not stop there yeah when uh, honorable kalonzo musioka former vice president of this country is trying to leave the country which he was doing yesterday on uh, september 28th he stopped at the airport and then is informed that uh, in future if he needs to leave the country, he has to be cleared by state out before leaving the country. <laughs> what? Now tell me, if this is not provocation, what is it? Okay? And it's good that we started part one in the way we did, because now you know the motive, and if you do not believe the motive, I think now you're seeing unfolding evidence to prove the motive to you beyond any reasonable doubt. The truth of the matter, whatever the, their PR tell you, whatever the image consultants tell you, whatever they're trying to cheat Kenyans, the truth is Jubilee does not want the elections. And they have good reason to not want the elections, yeah, because they can't win it. It's as simple as that. They can't win a free and fair election. They would want an election, yeah, which they can manipulate or which they're in a position to manipulate. But if they see that they, they're going to an election which they cannot manipulate, they will not be interested. Yeah, that, that, that should be very clear to everybody. Then there's this very strange and bizarre Nairobi Business Association, yeah? Whose members all seem to have dreadlocks. <laughs> what do these guys actually trade in? Yeah? Um, based on their dressing, you would think that they trade in something that uh, Bob Marley really used to like, yeah? <laughs> anyway, this association is of great concern. Yeah? Because one of the objectives this association is supposed to have is to protect businesses from NASA demonstrators. Now what that means is that uh, this business will be able to have, this uh, organization will be able to have a license or will be able to be in a place where they can clash with the NASA supporters. Now if, 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 you, if, if that is not disaster, I don't know what disaster is. Okay, and this, of course, this has been, you know, they seem to have very strong backing from the Jubilee government. These are actually Jubilee people, yeah, Jubilee sympathizers, yeah. Actually, if I can be very blunt, these guys have a resemblance to some people, some very bad people who Kenyans are, uh, Kenyans dread, yeah. People call them Ugiki, okay. That's really who they resemble. The way they behave, the way they say prayers uh, before their meetings, hey, this is very strange. Okay, now what would be the objective of having such people around? I think there can only be one answer. That some people somewhere have been able to see into the future. Okay, just the way the big trucks, heavy trucks, heavy anti-riot police, uh, this, the training of uh, policemen uh, to deal with uh, people who will not accept the election results. You remember before the August 8th elections, all that preparation was by a prophet or a soothsayer or fortune teller or somebody who sees the future uh, who knew the elections were going to go crazy yeah and they knew the elections were going to go crazy because they had information which other kenyans did not have and that is they were going to fit with the elections okay and they knew what the reaction was so in the same way these people have come uh, into existence there can only be one reason that somebody is looking to the future and is seeing a situation where they will be needed i cannot say any more than that 
okay just figure it out for yourself but this all this points back to exactly the same thing we started with that one side of the political divide is not interested in going to the election whatever they say whatever they convince us whatever whatever charade they take us through uh, campaigning going out to uh, look for votes apparently setting up committees to help in their campaigns all that charade the truth is one side of the political divide we are seeing plenty of evidence to suggest they are not interested in the presidential elections redone. That should be very clear by now. And even clearer would be the reason why. Okay? So let us answer the, answer the questions we started with very directly. Will there be an, elections, an election, a presidential election uh, uh, rerun, a fresh presidential election on the 26th of October? The answer, as you have already seen from what you have already covered, very, very unlikely. Yeah? Because we have a situation whereby NASA will not go into that election unless some certain changes are made to enable the field to be a level playing ground. Yeah? And the people capable of uh, uh, pushing forward those changes are not interested in pushing the, forward those changes because as soon as there's a level playing field, that other side will be at a disadvantage. It's as simple as that. So unless something major changes, because anything can happen between now and the 30th, it's a short time, it's barely a month, but in politics is a very long time. A lot of things could happen. Okay, so unless something major happens, because I'm not dismissing, uh, I'm not writing off the possibility that something would happen. Something actually can happen, but barring anything happening, anything very major happening, yeah, there will be no elections on the 26th. Yeah, that should be very clear. Will there be chaos in Kenya? Well, we all pray for the best that there will be no chaos. Very interesting because uh, if you ask me, all the things that have happened so far, it is a great miracle that the country is still peaceful. It is a major miracle. Okay? And uh, maybe I can just answer that question by saying, uh, a miracle, God cannot start a miracle that will not finish. Yeah? So I am hanging on. Yeah, I know I am hanging on to a very <laughs> thin thread. Yeah? But I still choose to hang on to that thread that somehow the miracle will be sustained and despite everything else, including the things that are still to come, this country will remain more or less peaceful. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekuche.